Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing this Clarins Foundation. It is a product that I have personally not used before. It may not be new, but it is new to me. So we're going to dive into this. I have used it once before, but I haven't used it on my channel before. First off, like I always do, I'm going to prime. Clarins SOS Primer. This is a really nice primer and it has a little glitter in it. So I just take a few pumps on the back of my hand. It's probably a little bit too much product, but that's okay. I can blend that down my neck. So I actually use my fingers for this. I just lightly move it into my skin, on my nose, this cheek, down here, and yeah, pretty much all over my face. As you can tell it does have a little sheen in it if you guys can see that on camera it's just a really nice weight primer and I normally just put it over my eyebrows as well just because you know why not <laughs> prime my eyebrows but now nah, I just use it because it kind of like settles my eyebrows into place so we are now done priming um, I am the kind of person that doesn't like to muck around when I'm doing my makeup um, so that is my primer done so now we are going to get the Clarins foundation in a beauty blender which is wet and I normally just unscrew the cap and as you can see it has a applicator like this so that is so you can get the product up by squeezing and then it comes up into the little device so I'm just putting the product on the back of my hand and then it's just sitting there for me to put on my beauty blender so you can either put it straight on your beauty blender or on your hand and then put it on your face or onto the blender just depends what you prefer so I'm going to do both and show you both ways of putting it onto your face so now I'm taking that product off the back of my hand and we are going to work that into my face. This is an extremely light foundation. Um, it is not medium, I don't think. It is, oh, I guess it's light to medium. So you can see it is covering up all that acne that I have on my face there. And we're just blending that product around my face. I'm also putting it underneath my eyes to take away some of that under eye circle. Um, We'll get some more and do the other side of the face but that is how it is looking right now it's just really pretty and light and it has a slight sheen to it but that also is the primer so we're now taking some more I'm going to show you what it's like when you apply it straight to the skin so we're just putting a dribble on there and then we're just getting the beauty blender and working that product around so you can tell I did put quite a lot of product on that time so we're just going to take that down and use it on this side of my face as well. The good thing about this is it doesn't dry fast as well. So you can use it to blend around your face for quite a while before it does set. This colour is slightly too light for me but it is going into winter so it should be okay. And the good thing about lighter foundations, you can just put a bronze around your face and get your face a little bit more tan for that. I'm also going to work it onto my eyelid because I am doing a eyeshadow look later which you guys can see on my channel. And then I'm just working down that excess product onto my neck as well. So this is what my skin is looking like it just looks so flawless and it's really lightweight you can definitely feel that it's lightweight on your skin and we're gonna go in with some concealer and some powder and then I'm gonna let you know my final thoughts okay, for concealer I am using the Finn Lizzie concealer and this is in shade angel and I have just put it underneath my under eyes and we're just gonna blend that out I do use quite a bit of concealer because I have really dark circles underneath my eye. I actually love this concealer right now. And then I have a vein here, so I like to take a little bit of concealer up there just to cover the vein. And then any excess I kind of just bring down with some pimples here, so I'm just gonna put some there. And we should be all good now. See, I do makeup really fast. And 
And then to finish off this really natural foundation look, we're just going to take some powder lightly and set the foundation to give it a true final look. So as you can tell, my MAC Studio FX is very, very used. I'm like hip pan and there's only a little bit of product really left around the corner. But it should still last me quite a while. So I'm just taking that across my face to kind of get rid of some of that shine and just lock in the foundation. So my final thoughts on the Clarins foundation is that it is a great lightweight foundation. It, it also covers up most of my imperfections so for a medium coverage light to medium coverage foundation I absolutely love it. Um, I don't know how they advertise this if they do say it is a full coverage or not but it to me it does the job really well. Here's an up close my skin. As you can see it is pretty much flawless. Um, I absolutely love this foundation and yeah I definitely recommend it. This is the Skin Illusion Natural Hydration SPF 15 and this is a Nude 105 the colour. So that is it there just because I know someone will ask what shade I am wearing today. Thanks for watching guys and I hope this video showed you guys that the foundation is really good and it also smells really good like I don't know it doesn't have a super fragrance it just smells like foundation so that's also a plus because some foundations can stink and this doesn't. <laughs> super random thing then but yeah. Thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe to my channel, I do a lot of Clarins makeup videos so go and check out the other ones on my channel and I'll be posting more in the future. Thanks for watching, bye guys!